Fox's Book of Martyrs. Chapter 1. History of Christian Martyrs to the First General Persecutions. Under Nero. Christ our Saviour, in the Gospel of St. Matthew, hearing the confession of Simon Peter, who, first of all other, openly acknowledged him to be the Son of God, and perceiving the secret hand of his father therein, called him, alluding to his name, a rock, upon which rock he would build his church, so strong that the gates of hell should not prevail against it. In which words, three things are to be noted. First, that Christ will have a church in this world. Second, that the same church should mightily be impugned not only by the world, but also by the uttermost strength and powers of hell. And thirdly, that the same church, notwithstanding the uttermost of the devil and all his malice, should continue. Which prophecy of Christ we see wonderfully to be verified, insomuch that the whole course of the church to this day may seem nothing else but a verifying of the said prophecy. First, that Christ has set up a church needs no declaration. Second, what force of princes, kings, monarchs, governors and rulers of this world with their subjects publicly and privately with all their strength and cunning have bent themselves against this church? Thirdly, how the said church all this notwithstanding has yet endured and holds its own. What storms and tempests it has overcome. Wondrous it is to behold for the more evident declaration whereof I have addressed this present history to the end. First, that the wonderful works of God in his church might appear to his glory. Also, that the continuance of the proceedings of the church from time to time being set forth, more knowledge and experience may resound, thereby to the profit of the reader and the edification of the Christian faith. As it is not our business to enlarge upon our Saviour's history, either before or after his crucifixion, we shall only find it necessary to remind our readers of the discomfort of the Jews by his subsequent resurrection. Although one apostle had betrayed him, although another had denied him under the solemn sanction of an oath, and although the rest had forsaken him, unless we may accept the disciple who was known unto the high priest, the history of his resurrection gave a new direction to all their hearts. And after the mission of the Holy Spirit imparted new confidence into their minds, the powers with which they were endued, emboldened them to proclaim his name, to the confusion of the Jewish rulers and to the astonishment of Gentile proselytes.